Okay, so for our second pair, we are going to be using this gorgeous Coriana chain that I got from my good friend Wendy, which is why most of you are here, so you know how to get a hold of her. But I will link her website um, just in case. There's some new people. Um, I love this chain because it's delicate, it's beautiful, it's easy to work with, and it's one of the only chains that is easy to bead with. Others are not so much, and I love it. And it comes with these little closures. And in order to make those closures stay on the chain, you're gonna need some crimp beads. And then you're gonna need some little tiny jump rings. You don't have to use them. Use tiny ones. I just like the tiny ones. Um, I'm using these beads. They're just regular old hematite beads with sort of an AB um, look to them. They're pretty. I like them. Um, you can use any bead you would like. And you're going to need two long eye pins. I can't exactly remember how long these are. Let me check. Three inches. These are three inches. Um, you're going to need two of those. And you're going to need a clasp. You might also need uh, an extender. We'll kind of get to that when we get to that point, but um, then you're going to need something to cut your chain with, open and close your jump rings with, and like some flat pliers to close your crimp beads with if you don't have a crimp bead closer. I don't know if that's what it's called. But, um, yeah, that's what, that's what you need to gather. All right, be right back. Okay, so I had forgot to get my clasps, so I went, I'm just using these regular old lobster clasps, whatever, yeah, that's what they're called. Um, okay, so, first things first, we're going to take our chain. Another thing I love about this chain is that, depending on what beads you're using, um, you don't have to use silver. It comes in gold and rose gold and gunmetal. Probably some other colors. I don't know. She's got all the good stuff. So, here we go again. Um, I'm going to take one end of this. Wrap it around my second toe again. And I'm just going to pull it like that I want to make sure I can get it on and off my toe easily okay I'm gonna just hang on to that right there and then I'm gonna take my cutters Okay, so this is where I have marked. This is my loop. That's where I have marked that I'm probably going to want it to um, start. So I'm just going to cut right in front of it. Like that. Okay, so now that I have my little loop cut for my toe. I'm going to take one of my closures. Just, so we're only doing this just for the toe part. I'm going to take my little closure here. And I'm going to take my bead reamer. Okay. 
and I'm gonna just work it around a little bit to make this hole a little bigger because um, since the chain is gonna be doubled through this one part I want to make sure there's enough room for my chain to get both the chains to get through and just move kind of easily so it doesn't get caught up just make sure you don't let the sides get too thin so that it might break or something so I'm gonna bring the two ends together it's my loop Try to make them as even as possible. It makes it easier to get them through at the same time. And success. Both through. I'm going to pull that down a little bit. Kind of get it out of the way. Then I'm going to take um, crimp beat and put both of these through here. Pray that it doesn't give me too much problems. There we go, they're both through. Okay, and if you need to just make it easier, you can take your pliers and just kind of grab the chain and pull it through so it doesn't pop back out on you or anything. Okay. So there we go. We've got our crimp bead and our closure. So I'm going to bring the crimp bead up. Now at this point, you can put it back on your toe before you crimp the bead to make sure it's where you want it. So you don't get it too tight. And then just squeeze it together. Squeeze, squeeze, and I have a little bit sticking up out of the top of mine. I'm just going to trim that off with my cutters. Then I'm going to slide my closure up over it and squeeze it together. And then I'm going to take my pliers again, just give it another squeeze just to be sure. Make sure these two little loops are even. there it is all right that's the first part next part you're going to take your three inch eye pin and your beads and just start stacking them on there and i'm just going to fill it until no more will go on And I need to make sure I have enough space left at the top to um, make another loop. Kind of close here. All right. So here's that. And I have this much left at the top, which is enough for me to make a loop. So ideally I want this loop down here, this loop up here, going in the same direction. So I'm going to grab these. They're round. Okay. So I'm going to be bending away from myself. So 
I want this one pointing away from me too. So I'm just going to grab it at the top and then take my thumb and I'm just going to twist down. Okay. See that? Now there's still a little bit of an opening. We're not done. So now I'm going to put them back through. But I'm going to pull back towards myself at the bottom of the loop. Okay. So now it's going to look like this. And then I'm going to turn this hook towards me. I'm going to put them back in. I'm going to twist it downward to try to close this loop up. Okay, so now it should look like this. And if you want to keep messing with it, if you don't think it looks good enough or it's not closed enough, you can squeeze it, whatever you want to do. However, you feel comfortable, you know, as long as it's secure, there should be no problem. So, this is going to be your decoration part. Now, if you are comfortable enough, you can open one of these ends little bit like how we had the little hook and attach it to your loop here instead of using a jump ring if you don't think you can get it closed back tight enough use a jump ring there's nothing wrong with that so I have put my loop onto the hook I'm gonna move the hook to the back out of the way I'm going to put my little round pliers back in this hole. Pull down towards myself again to close this loop up. And I'm even going to go on the outside of it. Just give it a little squeeze. So, I, don't, I didn't have to use a jump ring. But if it's easier for you, by all means, use a jump ring. Okay, so now we've got toe decoration. Now we're going to do the ankle part. What I want you to do for the ankle part is get um, a string or a cord or something you don't care about. Um, something you can just throw away afterwards and this is trash so guess what this is the winner okay so um, we're going to take take this we're going to thread this through this eye hole the opposite end of the toe loop okay bear with me here for a second around my toe okay. then I'm going to pull this back I prefer you use something that's not stretchy I'm using something stretchy but 
you don't want something that stretches or you won't get a good like measurement. So you take one end, pull it around to the back, and then you take your other side and pull it around to where it meets that end. And then mark that spot with your finger. Hold on to it. You can go ahead and cut that so you don't lose your spot. But then I want you to grab a tape measure or something, a ruler. Take one end and measure out three fourths of an inch. Okay. Three fourths of an inch from one end. And then cut that part off. And then measure how long that is. So mine is eight and a half. Now the reason we do that is so that you're not cutting the chain and then maybe you have a wrong measurement or whatever. Um, this we can throw away doesn't mean anything, but chain costs money and we don't want to just go cut knot without knowing. So then we're going to take this and measure out, well, for me, eight and a half. At eight and a half. Now I'm going to take um, another closure. And I'm going to put it on the end of my measured chain, thread it through, and then I'm going to take a jump ring, I mean, I'm sorry, a crimp bead, put it on the end, and then I'm going to just squeeze it together like we did the other ones, right at the very top of my chain. This one doesn't want to squeeze, but I hate getting squeezed. And then I'm going to pull my clasp over it just like before, squeeze it shut. Squeeze it. And then I'm going to take my end that doesn't have anything on it. And I'm going to put it through this eye hook. Like so. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to put my closure. And 
my current feed. Squeeze it together. Squeeze it together. And then I'm going to take two jump rings. I'm going to take one of my jump rings and put it on, and then I'm going to take my lobster clasp and put it on that jump ring Oops. and then I'm going to close this up and on the other side I'm going to take another small jump ring And then I'm actually going to take an, another jump ring that is larger. Mm. Um, put it on this little one just to make it easier for the lobster clasp to grasp it um, when it comes to putting on anklets and foot jewelry. It can be a little complicated, so there we have it. Okay. Hey guys, so that last part got cut off because I had an electrical flicker because it is storming really bad here. So, um, but we did get the sandal finished and I got my other one done. I'm gonna show you really quick what that looks like on. Hopefully you can see that. So you just put it over your toe, pull it back, clasp it back here to the back and it might feel a little tight whenever you're trying to get it clasped together but once you get it on it'll loosen up or at least mine did it mine it moves nicely it's not too tight but it's not too loose I like the way it feels and the way it fits you can adjust yours um, if you feel like maybe it's too tight um, you can add a jump ring or two if you need to, or you could add an extender. I don't particularly personally like extenders. They just kind of get tangled up um, in whatever they're on. So I prefer to not have them. But it's your personal preference again. Um, jump rings will work also. So yeah, that's it. I hope that... Um, you guys like them I hope that you actually why don't you upload some pictures in the comments um, let me see what you guys make I would love to see it um, these are great for the pool the beach cruise you could even wear um, you could wear them with your flip-flops and give them a little something extra and um, yeah I hope you like them I will not do anything involving my feet for a little bit i'm sure everybody's tired of <laughs> looking at that so um but thanks for watching tell your friends like subscribe all that stuff you know the drill um yeah let me know what you think be nice though i did my people this all right thanks guys